Hello, everyone's been asking me how do you use the diamond dust? So I thought I'd just do a really quick video showing you how I use it in my work to give you a few hints and tips. So um, the first thing that I want to tell you, which is really quite important, is a little bit of health and safety, a little bit of a warning. This stuff is made of tiny shards of glass. So whatever you do, don't get it on your body. You certainly don't want to get it in your eyes. You do not want a glass splinter. They're really, 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 really nasty. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I would coat one of my paintings. I've chosen a small piece just to give you a sense of how it's done. You could probably go as big as you want, but this is just an example. Okay, so the first thing that I always do is I put down... Um, a bit of newspaper or sheet or a bit of old canvas or something. That's just gonna catch any uh, excess, it's just gonna catch any excess diamond dust so that you don't waste it. Um, then I like to use this stuff, Liquitex, matte varnish. I go for a matte varnish because when it dries, it's obviously matte, and then you get the opposing effect of the sparkliness of the diamond dust. But you don't have to. Almost any acrylic medium will do, or any varnish, in fact. Um, you could even use PVA glue. If you want to go for the cheap and cheerful version, PVA glue is actually um, absolutely fine. Um, but I, I like to use this stuff. So, nice generous coat over your painting. Um, this isn't actually a painting, this is a printout, but uh, it could be one of your paintings, I hope it is. And I'll spread it out nicely like so, nice flat layer, but you'll notice I'm putting it on quite thick of course, because we want it to, we want it to really hold the, um, the glitter in place. Okay, now the nice thing about diamond dust is it's made of glass rather than um, synthetic plastic glitter, which means it's see-through. And the diamond dust I've made is 99.8% clear, so it's almost completely transparent. That means when you encrust your work with it, you're still going to see the work through it. So I apply mine at a little bit of a height. That means that um, it goes on quite evenly. And I just sprinkle it like this. So I'm just sprinkling away. So it's nicely encrusted. That's basically it. And then it's a case of um, it's a case of waiting for it to dry. So I'll see you in a minute when this is dry, and uh, we'll have a look at how it turned out. Great. So that's dry now. Let's have a look. So the varnish uh, has obviously disappeared. It's completely clear, and we've encrusted it in diamonds. So hopefully if we can catch the light right. The camera really doesn't do this stuff justice, but when you see it in real life, it glitters like nothing else because the shards are actually cut at loads of random angles, which you'll see, and that's what makes this diamond dust so, so sparkly. So I'm really excited to see what you make with it. Please share what you're up to on social media using the hashtag sharetheblack. And thank you very much. Enjoy it. See you later. Bye.